Here's the interesting find of the day. So here's an animal track. There's tracks here, 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 and here. And this area right here, you can tell that this sand has been rained on. Uh, but this sand right here, whoops, <laughs> um, now bears a mark that I made. But you can see this area that was flattened. Um, and this animal trail is discontinuous. It doesn't go that way, it comes from here. So if you go back here, you can see that this animal made a slide right there. And here's its tracks. And there's some better tracks. So what animal would slide as it was running along a river bar? This animal happens to be a river otter. And these tracks are not all perfect and easy to tell. But habitat is a good clue that will tell you what animal this was. And we can follow that trail further on and see where it goes and see if there's any better tracks. And sure enough, as you follow it out here, you can uh, see the tracks in the sunlight really well because it's a late afternoon and the sunlight is providing just the right amount of shadow to make these tracks stand out. Follow them here, and here, and here, and then, ah, it didn't, it went down here. So it jumped down this little berm right here, and went over here. Now you got tracks. Now you've got some beautiful otter tracks right on the edge of the river. Perfect habitat for an otter. Okay, so what makes these otter tracks? So when you look at these tracks, you notice that this one is bigger than that one. Um, that's because this is the hind foot, and on river otters the hind foot is larger. It provides the propulsion as they swim through the water, and you can see here the webbing on the feet. The front foot also has webs, but they don't usually show up as well in the track. So these are both right feet. And the reason I know that is, okay, look at the front foot first, and count the number of toes. There's one, two, three, four, and five toes on this front foot. The pad, metacarpal pad, is larger on this side than it is over here. It's really small, and that tends to lean inwards towards the smallest toe, which is the thumb, or toe number one. So this is toe number one, the inner toe, so that's the right front foot because that's the thumb. That's our pinky finger. Okay, now the same thing here on the hind track. The pad isn't quite as clear here, but it's still same situation. I'll try to find a better track, but you have toe one, two, three, four, and five. Toe number one is set furthest back in the track. If you were to draw a line across here, it's set further back in the track, and that's the inner toe, the smallest one, and on otters it's not distinctly smaller. Some other animals it's distinctly smaller than others. Um, in this case it doesn't look very small because the otter's on a slope. Um, but this is a right hind track. So looking up here to get a broader picture, there are several otter trails here. This is the one we were just looking at. And that animal went this way. There's another one that went this direction. That track looks older because it's got signs that it's been rained on. It's also much larger. Look at the size of the hind foot of this otter. And compared to my dirty hand, compared to the hind foot of this otter. So, looks a bit larger and it got rained on. Now there's another animal going this way, up the hill, in that direction. That could be the same otter that came back here and did the roll that we looked at earlier. So, Right in here, it's so wet that my stick sinks in really deeply and the tracks of the otters and even my feet are gonna sink in there. But you can see the otter's trail on the other side. Because the soil was very wet, they look older uh, because those tracks age much quicker in this very wet soil. You pull out your foot and uh, the, the track immediately collapses back in. But you can see the otter trail Continuing on the other side over there, and of course, habitat is the South Fork of the Yale River. 
flowing nice and fast right now because we had rain not that long ago. This little gully here is a, t a track. Um, it's a way of leading, reading the landscape. The river was way up here and it deposited all this mud that you see here. And then we had rain afterwards, but the river didn't rise. But water did flow down this little drainage here and eroded away the sand. I wanted to come back and revisit this uh, this little roll or, or uh, slide right here and mention that otters, they're mammals, and of course they live in a water environment, and so they need to maintain their fur, the waterproof um, qualities of their fur. So they will come out on the, the banks, and they have specific places where they do this, where they come out and they roll. Now this one, because it's so short, and it doesn't look like the otter did a lot of rolling here, this could have just been sliding on its belly like they do in snow or it could have been just a brief scent marking they will drag their rear ends to scent mark um, but otters will come out and they'll roll around in the sand and try to um, fluff up their fur it helps to maintain the waterproof qualities that they need so when they come out of the river they're not always just hunting or running or playing around they're doing other things like they could be leaving scent marks, they could be leaving scats in a latrine that communicates with other otters, or they could be maintaining their fur. So they do a lot of things out here outside the water. Um, in the water they're mostly hunting, so uh, they need to keep their fur in good shape to prepare them for that. But I thought I would mention that before I concluded the video that this may not just be something that they did for fun could be for another purpose. Okay, so I followed the otter trail further down the river and uh, found this. This is what I was talking about earlier when I mentioned that they do a lot more rolling and uh, this area you can see is about three feet by three feet and exhibits signs that the otter rolled here quite a bit when it was wet. You can follow the tracks here and follow the tracks back towards the river to see where the water, or otter, excuse me, came out of the water. And back here, the tracks are more muddy, more like the otter was wet when it came out. You can see that the water was dripping off the animal there. So it came out of the water here, came up, and did some rolling. So it was probably maintaining its fur trying to get it more waterproof, drying it off. And they'll also come up to the banks and sleep and rest and things like that. But So, there's a nice otter track here. So you know who did this.